All right, man. I think we got her. What do you think? I'll have to cut, I'll have to edit it out, obviously. That sucks, man. You know, when I was your age, I could just run through it and I never got it, ever. One time I had it all over my face. Like it was, it was like this. It went down from the top of my eye, down here, oh, back here. Oh, Ben. It was horrible. I bet your parents were thrilled. Oh yeah, they were. <laughs> You know, in the springtime, those fish are constantly moving up and down. They're pulling up, they're getting ready to spawn, and then bad weather comes in and it pushes them back out. So when I'm fishing them, I'm really playing the weather. The weather is the most dominating factor. So I'm gonna start with a bait that I throw all year round, but predominantly in the springtime, and that is the swim bait. Let's start with the rod though. This is a Toxic Elite, medium, extra fast, uh, very, very sensitive rod, got a great tip. It's very, very light, and it's one of our tier one blanks. Sweet rod though, I really, really like it. I'm running it on a Daiwa Kage 3000. It's an oversized reel in a way for a 3000. This is the MQ, so it's got a bigger bottom half, but it balances out the rod very, very well. I'm running it with 10 pound Power Pro SS V2 uh, braid to a 10 pound Seaguar and Vizix leader. The head that I'm using is an Outcast Tackle Goldeneye. It is a green pumpkin, 3 16th, so it's middle of the road. I can take it and I can put it in deeper water and I can put it in moderately shallow water. Temp primarily fishing this bait though, between that six to 12 foot range and it f seems to swim pretty well. Uh, I like to sw swim it off the bottom. Um, I like like it when it's bouncing off rocks and I kind of do, sometimes I'll drag it, do a lot of stopping and pausing. Um, sometimes I'm cranking it a little bit slower and I just do a slow roll and I don't do anything but that. But I definitely play with the cadences a little bit. This is the Kai Tech Impact Fat 2.8. The springtime, a lot of times the bass are eating stuff that are really small. You know, the crayfish are small, the perch hatches are small. So that means I'm trying to match the hatch and I'm using something just a little bit smaller. Color has a lot to do with weather. So when it's gray out, I try to stick to more natural stuff. And when it's sunny out, I try to throw stuff that's a little bit brighter. And I know that that kind of sounds a little bit opposite of what you would normally do. So the water's pretty clear in the springtime. I think that has a lot to do with it. And I think that that sun does something to their vision where they do want something a little bit brighter. That's just me, that's my personal experience. This is the true king of Mille Lacs in the springtime as far as baits go. And I'm probably gonna throw this quite a bit. This right here is a Berkeley Stunner. And this color is my favorite color. It's Northern Lights. So this rod is my drop shot rod, but it is an awesome jerk bait rod. Now, I got clients in the boat all the time that some of them aren't comfortable throwing casting gear. And so that's where this rod comes in to play big time. Uh, you can make long, long casts with it. It's got the perfect action for a jerk bait. This is a seven foot Toxic Elite drop shot rod, same blank, x-ray blank, uh, very sensitive, not that it matters for jerk baits, but it's the give on the tip that gives you everything with this bait. As you can see where the tip starts to bend, it's way back in the way back towards the midsection of the rod, which makes a big difference when you're throwing this jerk bait. You know, hard jerks, long pauses, which seems to get the job done. Uh, this jerk bait, this specific jerk bait, is very good for throwing between four in seven feet of water, four and eight feet of water. It's a shallow water jerk bait. It's got a really good slow pause and it does sink somewhat. So that's why I like to use it a little bit shallower. It just seems to work better that way. It's got great action and these hooks are awesome. I never had a problem with these hooks. They stay sticky, sticky sharp, bouncing off rocks. It's everything that you want in a jerk bait. Reel that I'm using, Dialwood's Tula 3000. 
10 pound braid to a 10 pound leader, same line, Power Pro SSV2 with Seaguar and Visix 10 pound test. Fish do get deep, which means that they're pulling up and down. On those days where I think that they're gonna pull down, I will throw a plus one. So this is a Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one. This is my favorite color. Uh, honestly, you know, you could use any kind of plus one. You don't have to use a Vision 110, but this is definitely one of my favorite jerk baits to throw. And these are the stock hooks. Sometimes I'll change them out and I'll put the owner STXs on, but these are the stock hooks. And I usually don't change them out until they start to bend. One thing about these jerk baits is it is tuned to the way that these hooks weigh. So with Mega Bass, I try my hardest not to put different hooks on. I think that this swims true to the way it is better when it has the stock hooks on it. So if you know me, you know that I like the Ned Rig. A lot of my buddies give me crap about it because they're out there power fishing with heavy line bait casters and I'm out here throwing the Ned getting bit. We'll start with the rod. This is a Toxic Elite, seven foot six. This is actually my swim bait rods, big brother. Uh, that other one was a seven three, this one's a seven six. Uh, medium or fast and it is ultra sensitive. But one thing that I am gonna use it for is making super long casts. This is an eighth ounce Ned you know, when I fish the eighth ounce Ned, it's gonna be in really shallow water. Typically, fan casting with it, I'm not target casting, you know, with live scope or targeting a specific boulder. This is when I'm out in search mode, looking for fish, having to make really long casts. This is the bait that I would use, and this is the size head that I use. This is an outcast tackle, perfect Ned, and the bait that I'm using is a Somatis hollow tip worm. So this is the HTW hollow tip worm. One thing that's special about the net head, or the net rig rather, is that it stands up. The best way to get this, to get bit, is when the bait is standing straight up and down. So this part of the worm right here is hollow, which automatically makes the bait want to float right up. So it definitely is a special bait in that regard. So as you can see, in the middle of that, it's hollow. You'll start to see bubbles come up. And when the bait comes down, it lands and it wants to stick straight up. So awesome bait for that. The reel that I'm using is a Daiwa Exist. This is an older Exist. It is a 3000, but it is basically the same size as a 4000 series spool. 10 pound Power Pro SSV2 paired with 10 pound Seaguar and Physics. So that's kind of my that's kind of my lead, leader line and main line of choice always is gonna be this combination, but this is definitely my favorite setup. I haven't even got to use it yet, but this is a setup that's gonna be used a lot. I think the clients are really, really gonna like it. It's got a great balance. Again, with that 4000 series, man, it's awesome. So we got the Ned Rig again, except this time we're using a seven foot Toxic Warrior Blank. Now this, is a quarter ounce net head. As you guys can see, I'm using the same hollow tip worm. Hey, for you got bed fishing chasers. Now I'm not really a bed fisherman, but when I am, I'm gonna use something that I can see very good. You know, I'm not really looking to, I'm not really looking to see the bass. I'm actually looking to see the bait. Now this yellow makes it to where it gets really good contrast behind it. So when I'm looking at the yellow, really what I'm looking for is something that swims behind it that turns really dark so and the quarter ounce is sweet it falls on the bed very very fast like so you don't have to overcast it as far and it makes it much easier to target the bed this is a seven foot toxic warrior blank this is one of our mid-tier rods um throwing this with a daiwa tatula 3000 power pro temp to power pro ssv2 10 pound test going to a liter 10 pound cigar and biz x oh boy just pulls out the leaf blower at the last minute springtime means hair water's clear fish are feeding up the best time that i find to throw a hair jig is going to be when you start to see bugs when i start to see bugs um a lot of times they're smaller and they're starting to fall and die off the surface can't go outside all right these are the snacks that i got this is our prep kit so we got PB&J, ham and turkey, turkey and ham, and then oranges, some jerky. These things are awesome. Low protein. So we got whatever this is. 
What is this? Has anybody ever tried these before? I've never even heard of this before. I'll try it. All right, boys. I'll show you what's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Really bad. 